Dan Jurgen, SMB Global Vice Chairman, warns that it is now time to start talking about energy safety in the U.S., saying the government and industry leaders need to come together before the crisis now becomes an emergency. He spoke to Bloomberg's Kriti Gupta earlier. Take a listen. Energy security fell off the table in the United States as we became self-sufficient in energy. And in fact, it was like amnesia. It was not only taken for granted, it was just forgotten. But it's now had this big shock. It's back on the agenda and thinking about it. And uh, it takes, it's going to, this administration is having to figure out how to proceed and what to do. And one of the things that really needs to happen when you look back at every oil crisis going back to the Korean War and the 1956 Suez crisis, you had a close cooperation and collaboration between government and industry. That has to happen here to understand what's happening in the market and to manage the logistics and complexities because what's happening is, is the now established supply chains are buckling. Well, the fact that you mentioned that cooperation, that seems to be a major theme here. Do you have this alignment between the U.S. government and the energy sector? And it seems like we don't. We've heard multiple times CEOs from natural gas companies, oil companies, that they haven't been reached out to by the Biden administration. Why is there that disconnect? Well, I think this administration came in, of course, with its focus being on climate, on green jobs, and really no, not much attention at all. To, uh, to the oil and gas industry. It only started to change at the end of last year when gasoline prices started to go up and you had the energy secretary actually call for more production. But I think that um, it's just that it has not been part of their agenda and I think it's now time to build those channels of communication and it has to come from the government reaching out in a non-confrontational way, in a non-political uh, way to say we've got to do like we did, the country did during World War II, like it did in the 70s. We need to work together to understand and manage what is a crisis that could become an emergency if this goes on for another few weeks, as seems likely, and as it looks like the unwillingness to accept Russian oil is actually going to grow and grow and grow.